and welcome to Headlines today. I'm Anna M. M. Bettikard. With me on the show today, two people whose teaming up is an indicator of how much the Hindi film industry and audiences have changed in recent years. One of India's most commercially successful mainstream actors turned producer, along with the director of his latest production, a film that many people may assume to be an offbeat niche product, but then these days, what's niche, what's offbeat, who knows, let's ask. Amir Khan and Anusha Rizvi, welcome both of you to Headlines today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Amir, you have been keeping this schedule that I read about and I'm, I'm getting jet lagged from reading about your schedule. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's been uh, tough physically to just travel from one place to another and different time zones and all of that. And in a short time, because we're trying to reach out to an audience which is not only the traditional audience for Indian films, but we're also trying to reach out to audiences of world cinema and people who like to watch foreign language films. So, uh, trying to do our best for this film. Do you feel equally passionately about a film that you're producing in and not acting in? Yes, I do. I mean, I think for me, all of these films, whether I'm acting, producing, or in the case of Tarez Amipa directing, when I'm connected to a film or uh, involved in a film, it's because I love what it's saying or, you know, I find the script engaging. And uh, so they're all equally close to me emotionally. I think creatively my instinct or my uh, judgment is, you know, it's, my, it's indicated through all my films, uh, no matter which one I'm involved with. Amr stopped for instinct. Was it instinct that made you contact him with this script? Yeah, absolutely. Because um, I happened to get his email address from someone. Um, but I didn't know. At some point. <laughs> <laughs> Avan. Oh, Avan. Oh, that's a very big. Uh, okay. That's okay. Information, you know, a journalist never reveals. number <laughs> <laughs> Well, we would have got it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I wrote to him, of course, instinctively because there was absolutely no reason to write to him. Um, of course, no, other than the fact that he would be a very, very good producer. And he was the first person you thought of when you uh, yes. when you were ready with this script. No, I was not even ready actually. I was halfway through the script when I wrote to him. So he was the only person I wrote to. Why did you think that Amir would be interested in a film like this? I have no idea why, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> would you, when you were when you were writing the script, did you consider this? A, did you look at it and say, okay, this is a risky project, but let me contact Amir because he takes risks. No, uh, I I don't think it's a risky project at all because you can't really judge a value of a project on the basis of Risky on the basis of what? Um, it's it's a story that you want to tell, and now if the story is good enough, it'll be told. If it's not, it won't be. I don't think risk is involved. Really. How long did it take for Anusha to convince you um, that this is something you could back? Well, I, I got these emails uh, from Anusha, and uh, at first I thought it was someone who was being really cheeky, because in her email she said that uh, you know I have a script that is called The Falling. The working title of People in Life was called The Fall. And it was at the time that I was doing uh, Mangal Pandey, The Rising. So I thought someone's being really cheeky. <laughs> so at first I didn't reply to it. And then I realized that she's from NDTV and she's a journalist. And So I thought that, you know, there's some bona fide person over here. And then I replied to her. And I was interested to know what she had. I don't know why. I just was interested. Then I said, okay, I'm not right now in a position to read scripts and very busy. So, But I would at some point like to see what you have. And then I was in Delhi for Rangde Basanti and uh, that's when we met. And uh, she narrated the script to me and I liked it straight away. Uh, it took me a while to decide to produce it. It took me a while to decide uh, and have the trust and faith in Anusha as a director. Uh, but the script I liked straight away. I found it most engaging. Um, it is very funny but also very thought-provoking and sad on a number of levels. And the final decision was really whether she'll be able to execute a film like this for which uh, she shot four or five scenes uh, from the film. And when I saw them shot and cut, I really liked it. And that gave me the confidence that yes, she can actually execute what she's written. And what she's written is not an easy film to execute. It's very layered, it's quite a complex film to shoot.